Let's talk about the four most simple ways for you to improve sales performance. By the way, hey, my name is Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Easton University. It's the most effective sales coaching in the world. If you like this video, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to this channel. So four ways that you can improve your sales performance. Not only are they the most simple, but they're pretty much the only ways that if you truly want to take your career to that next level to where you can improve your sales performance. Out of these four, they're all equally important. First one, you've got to be able to prospect. You've got to be able to reach out, start conversations with people and develop an interest in yourself, your products, your solutions, your services. Now, some of you may be saying, I don't do prospecting, we get inbound leads. There's still a prospecting component, even if people are calling you, you have to have a very simple, straightforward system. Great, hey, got your call, what can I get you information on? Of you being able to effectively and very skillfully take that inbound lead and develop it into a prospect. So first thing of your four tips, you've gotta have prospecting down. We can teach you that over at Easton University. Second piece, you have to be able to handle, you don't have to overcome, it's not how we're doing things anymore. You don't have to come up with witty, clever comebacks. You don't have to be high pressure or manipulative. You have to be able to handle or address any objections that come your way and also complaints. 90% of the things that you guys are hearing right now and you're kind of labeling as an objection and you're trying to overcome it with some witty, clever comeback or a discount, it's not working for you because it was merely just a complaint. Nine out of 10 of the things that you think are an objection are just a complaint. And most of the time you just have to agree with that person. Just because somebody is complaining does not mean that they're not gonna do business with you, that they're not gonna buy your products, that they're not gonna buy your solutions. And when we start these little micro arguments with people over simple little complaints, doesn't work very well, especially in today's market, all right? So you've gotta be able, number two, you've gotta be able to skillfully and effectively address and handle any objections or complaints. Number three, the most obvious one, you've gotta have a simple system for closing the sale. Now here's the thing, a lot of you are like, oh yeah, yeah, I know how to close, okay. If you know how to close, what are the exact words that you use to close the sale? I ask this to thousands of people all over the world as I travel doing live speaking engagements. Nobody can give me a clear answer and my guess is you don't have a crystal clear answer right now. You're probably saying something like well, it's more complicated than that. It's not. You should have a very simple system. This is actually the easiest thing that we teach over at Easton University of what is the exact question how do I ask it? When do I ask it? What's the tonality of my voice to be able to either close this deal or move it forward, right? Let's say I want the contract signed. What do I say to get somebody to sign a contract with me? Or maybe I need to present to their board of directors. What do I say to get them to allow me to present to my board of directors? You have to have that piece. You have to know how to close. And by the way, there's not 200 different ways to close. There's not 2,000 or 2 million. I'm gonna teach you one singular way that will allow you to close or advance any deal in your pipeline. But the third most important thing that you need to know is how to close, okay? If you're not gonna learn it from me, learn it from somebody else. There's some training out there that's not that great or develop a closing system on your own, but you have to have one. Fourth, and the most important thing in you developing your sales career and you simplifying things and you making your life a lot easier, and I saved the best for last. Yes, you know, have to know how to prospect. Yes, you have to know how to handle and address objections and complaints. Yes, you know, have to know how to close. But you also have to have a system for step-by-step -step linking all of this together so that deals are constantly moving, moving in your pipeline. Your pipeline needs to be a river. When deals drop in, whether you create that in your prospecting or somebody calls you and you develop it in your inbound prospecting, you have to make sure that every time you're touching that deal, that it's at least moving forward. The biggest mistake that people make in sales is they have all of these individual components or techniques or gimmicks 
and they don't know how to link all of them together to make sure that, boom, if I get an opportunity, I've got an 83% chance that it's gonna close within seven days or 14 days or whatever it is in your process, and I know how to link everything together to make sure that it keeps moving. Most of us working in sales, we don't know how to do that. And that's why we have these huge bubbles in our pipeline, these log jams in our pipelines, to where we've got, oh man, if I could just close this 3.2 million in business, I could go buy a Bugatti tomorrow. But these deals are stuck in my pipeline. You gotta make sure, you wanna drive a Bugatti, you gotta make sure that you're able to move everything through and you've got a process that's constantly moving those deals forward. So those are the four things that I would work on. If you wanna talk about any of this, I'm happy to work through this with you. I'm happy to have my people talk to you. I'll even talk to you personally. You can give us a call at Easton University, 800. 628-1456. And if you got any use out of this at all, please consider subscribing to this channel. I'd love to be your new best friend and give the video a like. It would make me feel good. I'll see you on the next one.